Since power can only be granted by uniting like-minded individuals, young people have been urged to take charge and assume responsibility in order to alter the current state of leadership in the nation. This hint was given by the founder of the African Future Leadership magazine, Mark Idiahi, during the 9th African Future Leadership Conference and Awards, which was titled Africans for Africa, Resetting Africa's Economies for Prosperity. Details in this report. The African Future Leadership Conference is an annual event that brings together professionals from diverse backgrounds throughout the continent and serves as a preventive arm of the Second Chance Care Foundation. It provides a fantastic chance to network with business leaders and have stimulating conversations about influencing Africa's future. The convener, Mark Idiahi, gives an overview on what to expect. So, like I hinted, there is a nexus between leadership and the economy and the prosperity of many nations. So my recommendations, number one, leaders have to become intentional about prioritizing national interests and promote transparency and foster a culture of integrity. This edition is in strategic partnership with the Mount's Leadership University and it seeks to explore the dichotomy between leadership and economy of nations, encouraging dialogue that will improve business prospect for both Nigeria and Africa. CEO of the Africa Private Sector Summit, Dr. Lucy Newman and other presenters provide more details. We, the citizens ourselves, need to understand our responsibility in building a society. And we need to understand also that our voices matter and to speak and to get engaged and get involved and be bold and courageous. So, now young people need to realize they assume that they can stay on the side on this left and just watch. No, it is time for us young people to now take the charge. But before you even go into politics, see, your value must be grounded, like integrity. Because if you, if you are not a person of integrity, if you enter there, it's possible you are going to be corrupted. The convener reflects on the previous eight years and emphasizes how well the event had worked to develop commercial relationships, provide networking opportunities, and advance the idea of a prosperous and new Africa. He says the rising levels of insecurity in the nation and consequently throughout Africa necessitate a national conference to discuss the future of both the country and Africa, hence the conference's theme. I'm not saying I'm going to change the world, that's not the point, but I made up my mind that as much as I breathe, I'm going to try to come up with initiatives and programs such as this to give hope to a young Nigerian who will see that, oh, Indeed, just light after the tunnel. You know, they have there's an opinion and expression that there can never be light after the tunnel, saying that we have been in this corny drum for a long time. But I'm, I'm a chronic optimist. I believe that in spite of how long it has been, we will get it right. Over the years, Africa has been a victim of poor narrative by the mainstream media as a dark continent. This conference and future ones hope to be able to retell Africa's story. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.